Don't think I don't see you up there, you stupid Sarko. It's only level four too. I'm going to tame that guy in a moment, but what's up Reapers? My name's Seth and we are back again for some more, oh gosh, Pixark. And uh, I, I wanna try and seal these Skeletors off because I wanna try and get at these juicy items that are hanging out inside this dungeon. And we kind of now have a bit of a system in place here where we just slowly seal these morons off because they're, they're pretty much based on sight, near as I can tell, rather than just aggroing us from a distance. So you can see like that guy right there, he just aggroed us right now. And because of it, we can go in here, grab that weird wand staff thingamabob, and uh, there you go. We already got the loot. <laughs> that was super duper easy, actually. I, I don't even know what that staff is going to be used for. So, uh, I want to show you guys this, because I mentioned this in the last episode, where I ended up flying around the map and, and trying to find, uh, you know, I ended up finding, like, tons and tons of ore in a specific area. Man alive, we're always thirsty because we're always overheating. Like, it's disgusting. Why Why in this game? Why? Why is it always such a problem? Um, but let me see if I can end up finding it. Uh, our base is just kind of... Oh, I should mark our base with a marker. Yeah, that would be really, really helpful. Uh, but this right here, this is going to end up being the... Uh, what do they call this biome? Doomlands. Okay, I, I gotta try and get the hang of that. This is going to end up being pretty much where the strongest monsters in the game are being tamed. Or just killing you in general. It's going to be really, really difficult to do. We got Cyclops, Fire Elementals, and a Fellhound, which is one of my all-time favorite creatures. He's a three-headed Cerberus monster. I love it. I want it. Oh, gosh. We're out of stamina. Oh, we are out of stamina. And that, I think, is a hostile bush right there that is going to attack me. I hope I don't end up dead in two seconds here because landing is always a problem because that Minotaur right over there, he could just wander over to me and just kill me. Wouldn't that be poetic justice? Me sitting here thinking I'm going to show you guys something cool. There was a coyote there. We could tame that as well. But right over here, this is where I've been getting like all of my ore and everything like that. And where I ended up having a smelter reel set up specifically so that I could end up just mining more and more and more of the area. And it was going pretty well until a cyclops came over and absolutely destroyed me. We've got something else generated over there. Is that like a village or are those just dungeons in general? What is this? Oh, these are going to be dungeons. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of bamboo. It's quite beautiful, but yikes, dude. I haven't seen this actually generated before. What are these? I'm, I'm assuming that these are going to be dungeons that I think I've seen spawn in the highlands. Yeah, I think that's what this is. So this is going to end up having uh, coyotes and stuff and other crazy killer creatures. It is going to end up having chests, but again, this is going to be an area where we're probably going to have to come here a little bit later. So, ooh, there's a boar creature. I want to tame that. Uh, dungeons. I see something right near my face. What is my X and Y? Minus 1209. Why do you have to mark this yourself? No, seriously, like, that's kind of stupid. Okay, there's the thorn boar thing. Okay, so that thing is beautiful. That's actually supposed to be one of the early things that you end up taming. You can grab those guys right away, and then they just end up giving you, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of like, even, even before a raptor, you're supposed to be able to tame those guys. I just never, ooh, fire elemental. Isn't it beautiful? He's so powerful, though. I don't think we're going to be able to tame that for a very long time. But I wanted to go and see if we could find ourselves a magic mole so that we could get our hands on the uh, magic mole pickaxe, which requires us to kill it and use its claws like an evil monster from, like, who knows where. Seriously, using an animal's claws to make ourselves a tool is absolutely weird. <laughs> Uh, but maybe it would give us access to being able to mine some of the magic ore, or it would just be a higher grade of normal pickaxe. Because this right here, I'm pretty sure, is magic ore. So we can't mine this with a, uh, with a uh, mining pick. We have to actually mine it with a staff, which is really weird. I haven't really touched any of the magic in this game. Go figure, like even when I go to uh, the server, like the private server that I use, I, I still haven't really touched magic. Oh, and as far as plants are concerned, for some weird reason, these things all said they were growing, but they seem to just despawn over time. And you can only put them one block away from the water for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that. 
Oh, and we were also able to actually craft fur armor as well, which would end up being fairly nice uh, to keep us out of the cold, right? So I think we can craft that at a uh, workbench here. Yeah, so we've got plenty of this because it's just gonna be fur and fiber. Fur and fiber? I don't have that much fur, honestly, because it requires us to kill a lot of bunnies. Ooh. I wish we could sleep at a bed. And not, not necessarily fast travel. I wish we could just sleep to change it to the daytime. Because the weird thing is, I actually went into my settings and I, I set it specifically so that daytime wouldn't end up uh, progressing. Because there's no real reason to have the nighttime. It's kind of disgusting in this game. It's not as bad as some other games, near like for sure. But in this game, it's like I, I don't like it. Like I just I still would rather have a daytime video for you guys. You know, it would just end up making the ex overall experience a lot better. Okay, let me try and kill this raptor without actually attacking that other idiot. Oh my gosh, he's only level 19 and he almost wrecked my face. Like, what was that? Parasaur. You. Can I tame you yet? Level 50. Okay. That that kind of sucks. Uh, I want to try and tame that Sarko though, so I'm going to try and set up a nice little pen here for this guy. Again, kill this stupid other raptor. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I mean, it sucks that we ended up spawning next to jungles because that's where the raptors end up coming from. Ah, there we go. We get a lot of fur from rabbits if we end up killing them with a raptor. Okay, I kind of uh, suspected that. And while my nighttime cycle might still persist, despite the fact that I changed it in my settings, it doesn't matter because I have the nighttime go like super duper quick, so it's already day. But look at this. We can actually tame one of these idiots. I'm curious to do that. I want to do that. I want to tame one of them while I set up this trap. Now, a Sarko is going to end up being a pretty long creature. So I'm going to have to be really careful with how big I end up making this hole because if it's not big enough and if it's not deep enough, that guy's just going to end up climbing out and wrecking my face. And hopefully not, you know, hopefully we're far enough away that he's not going to end up aggroing all of my dinosaurs in my base. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Thank goodness durability isn't a thing in this game because that was one thing about Ark that worked with the game because gathering resources was not really like... I mean, you did have to gather resources, don't get me wrong, but it's like, in this game, the fact that you have to break, like, so many blocks, it better not just be because it's early access that they're like, oh, we don't want it so that you have to, uh, you know, gather gather all the resources to repair all your gear. We, we want to have that eventually, but we're not going to do it right now just because the game's in early access. Like, no, just keep it out of the game forever. Okay, so let's do this with a flyer. I hope that this is wide enough because I don't honestly know if this is going to end up working. Uh, oh, I was still trying to tame this idiot as well. Seriously, tame faster, you dummy. Now, I don't know necessarily like if this turtle is going to end up being helpful to us by any means. We could put a saddle on him, but why would we want to waste our time actually getting a saddle for him? I guess we could just for kicks, but I don't know if the turtle is necessarily going to end up serving any type of primary function. Like, it's just a turtle. It's slow and kind of stupid. Maybe he'll swim very well or something. I, I don't know. Okay, Bowser, you're going to be mine. Even though you're like a really, really low, stupid level, I don't care. I want you in my life. What is he doing? Get over here, you. Ow! He almost one-shot me. Well, he didn't really one-shot me, but still. Oh, this is going to suck. He doesn't like aggroing me at all, does he? He's kind of a wimp. Why won't he come over here? He's killing all those precious turtles. Stop killing the Koopas, Bow Bow! Like, seriously, just come over to me. Oh my gosh, did you see how quickly it ended up annihilating that guy, though? Like, seriously, can you, are you coming? You coming over here? I'm gonna have to do this with my dumb raptor, aren't I? I mean, at least he's really, really slow, but I didn't really want to risk doing that because I don't want to lose our raptor. Like, he's so good, and it would end up being really, really bad if we end up, like, losing him. Okay, maybe we won't have to because he generally just seems to be wandering over to our area anyways. So maybe I can use myself as bait. Man, look at all these creatures that we've caught in this stupid thing. Like seriously, you, come here, you. I want you, you will tame and be mine. Okay, we heard him. Hopefully he gets stuck in here. This should be a big enough pit, right? Yeah, and then we're gonna be able to hit him with as many. Okay, he seems to be able to walk up three blocks tall. Is he stuck? Is he stuck? I'm kind of scared. Because I don't... Okay, I think we got him stuck. But I can't get any closer to him. Because if I do, 
I'm sure that he'll just bite me through the floor. Now, the other problem is we're not going to be able to hit his head, unfortunately. So we can't give him three times torp by actually like getting a headshot. We do have over 150 arrows though, so that should be enough, especially for a level four of this guy. Okay, he's starting to wander around. I'm wondering if that means that his torp is starting to get like really, really close. I wish that there was a spyglass in this game or a super spyglass where you could actually use it to see the torp of the creature. Because seriously, I don't know how many arrows this is gonna take. Can you please, can you please get out of here? Seriously, I don't wanna accidentally hit you and then have you aggro me, you dumb trike. Oh, there we go. He's unconscious. Okay, so that didn't take uh, too, too long. It ended up taking quite a bit, but it didn't take too, too long. Do I have any meat on me? No, I don't. Okay, hopefully he's going to end up staying under. I hope he's not one of those freaks that we got to keep giving like sleepy arrows and stuff. But let's rush over to our raptor because Yoshi, I know for a fact, has tons and tons of meat on him. I guess I could just use the meat from our... Uh, flying mailman, Superman or whatever, but in either case, I, I just kind of wanted to go and bring Yoshi over here just because kind of a safety measure, you know, whoopsie daisy. What am I thinking? I didn't even grab the meat off of him. Like, come on, there we go. How fast is this guy going to end up taming? That's the real question. Because I don't know, is he gonna end up slowly waking up? I don't think so, but at least we are going to end up getting a Sarko. So this really, really cool dude, like look at him. Yes, he's beautiful. I will still call him Bowser, even though I, I don't know why I'm doing like all of the Mario creatures and stuff, but he's going to be beautiful. In the meantime, I'm gonna just keep killing a dumb bunch of these dumb bunnies. <laughs> I'm gonna dumb a bunch of these bunnies. I, I want to kill a bunch of them so that we can end up getting ourselves some fur armor because we should have that on our person like all the times. Oh no, the trike is stuck in there now. Get out of there, man. You will be the first sacrifice when he wakes up. Excuse me? Oh geez, that scared me. So Yoshi ended up taking a bite of meat from his own inventory to fill his hunger bar. And the trike just happened to move at the same time as if it got attacked. Ooh! Ah, this guy's gonna take a while. Okay, he's gonna need, we're, we're gonna need to put a lot more meat in him. I, I guess I'm just gonna wander around and do other things while this guy tames, but that should be enough meat for sure. By doing other things, I mean killing more turtles Die! I should try and actually get four of these guys when when painting gets into the game. Someone someone remind me guys. When painting gets in the game, we should kill or not kill. Tame four turtles and call them the ninja turtles. We also need to get ourselves a mole or something and call it splinter. So help me, I wish I could turn down the spawn rates of these dinosaurs. Maybe we can, but it seems like a lot of these spawn rates uh don't really end up getting altered very much. Oh gosh, jeez, that was close don't really end up like no, nothing seems to change when since the world is already predefined so maybe it's like settings only end up uh changing if you end up loading up a new world you know what i mean all right this guy definitely is going to end up taming before he becomes conscious though so that's really nice but before we get into any of that noise let's try and see what is a sarko saddle level 50 Ooh! What level are we even right now anyways? Level 34? Oh, I think we're actually level 35, aren't we? Oh, we're really, really close though. Oh man, we're close. I'm gonna go and make that fur armor. Also, I gotta clear up Yoshi's inventory because he is full of meat, like seriously. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. That's the rest of our fur armor in the bag, so that's cool. Show all. Uh, oh. That's kind of nice. That's kind of a nice easy way that you can just see everything instead of having to scroll through each of the different inventory tabs. Raptor Claw. Now, here's the thing. We've killed quite a few raptors, but we haven't gotten lucky enough uh, to end up gaining ourselves an actual raptor's claw, which is interesting. Uh, and a Dodicarus Hammer? which requires a dodicarous uh, tail, which I don't even know where we can get that. Oh, oh, and we ended up getting a drill as well, so we could end up making that. Let me actually just go and get ourselves some wood. The drills are pretty useful for terraforming and not much else, because you'll end up using them, uh, you know, with a combination of fuel to end up kind of digging a four block area right in front of your character, right? So another thing too that we could get is a copper spear, which might be better than a copper sword, just because it's gonna give us that extra amount of reach. But I don't know. We can craft at least, what was it? I think we could make one piece of the new 
a set of gear, copper kettle. So can be used to carry water with you and refilled in deep water. All right, we'll grab one of those. We could end up getting ourselves a shield, but I don't really care. I do want to get a lightning helmet in case we run into lightning because that could end up going very bad for us. Uh, and then otherwise, all of these are going to end up costing four for this new armor. So we probably just can't get that yet. Ooh, let's get ourselves a gun. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, and then we need gunpowder. So what does it actually take to make gunpowder? Gunpowder is going to be right here, which requires firestone powder and sulfur. I know where we can get sulfur, but that's going to be a bit of a lengthy resource to end up getting because I'm going to have to go and mine it. Uh, and then otherwise, it seems like it takes tons and tons of flint in order to end up getting the other resource. Ugh, that kind of... <sighs> slow process man slow process but uh yeah we'll we'll be able to do this eventually the guns are not entirely worthwhile honestly from what i've been able to tell it's just the fact that you can use them very fast not necessarily that they're going to end up being particularly powerful okay this guy is yeah he's gonna be at halfway taming before he ends up uh, becoming conscious but uh i guess we can do some more stuff in the meantime because otherwise that's gonna take a while can we kill one of these terror anodons before they take off no really really close though man alive these turtles sure are tanky when they want to be dude like seriously die other raptor i don't even care if you'll damage me you gotta get out of my face i don't know if i want to risk uh seeing whether or not our raptor can take on some terror birds i don't know if i want to do that because he's I, I really don't want to lose this guy. He's already level 72, which is really, really cool. Well, we got to level 35, so let's see what else we can do. A soil privilege marker. The land near this sign belongs to you. Within a certain range, your structures won't take damage, and other tribes cannot build on uh, their own structure. That's pretty cool. It only takes 10 wood, which is weird. Can only get in a PvE server. Okay, I guess you can't get on a PvP because then it would make your structures invincible right that's pretty cool though i like that and then what else could we get crossbow finally i like the crossbow even though we don't necessarily need to use it uh i i do really like it because you know a bow is going to end up being better i should also look into all of this magic stuff but there's no real reason to yet because it just requires like tons and tons of magic resources which we don't have yet uh but i do want to make ourselves a firearm work table which i'm pretty confident we could make one of those all right so first of all let's put this sign out front for some weird reason i can't change its direction so that's a little bit annoying that it's going to be facing sideways like that it also has an inventory let me guess it needs to take these doesn't it like it needs it as fuel. Yeah, okay, privilege start. So that's where you would end up going out and completing quests to get yourselves these privilege certificates uh, so that you could end up st uh, setting an area up. And they seem to give you one hour each. That's actually not too bad. Can I actually see uh, closed border emitter? I don't know what that means. Oh, I see. So this is going to end up being the border. This is the area that is safe from others. So you'd have to set up a bunch of these signs to keep your base safe and just, yeah. I mean, at least all of the important stuff is safe, right? That's that's the that's the real thing. Uh, and then what was it? The gun table or something? Firearm work table. Yeah, let's check this thing out. Okay, I think I ended up placing it the wrong way, but whatever. Let's take a quick peek. Okay, so this is where you end up modifying your guns. So you can modify, you can enchant. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Let's see what happens if we put our gun in here. Can we modify or enchant it? don't think so maybe uh it's got to do with modifying higher tiers of guns or maybe it's that we can end up modifying the ammo right now but not the gun itself or maybe it takes fuel honestly speaking i've seen this uh table in multiplayer and it was confusing to me then as well also if we take a quick little peek at the drill here this is going to be how it works it can end up destroying four blocks in front of your character for some reason has a very difficult time destroying one block on the ground i don't know why like right now we're not actually destroying it uh only if we aim down but as you see it ends up destroying uh into the ground as well so that's going to be useful if i ever end up needing to terraform it's not going to take hours like it did uh, for me to end up clearing everything else out so i can end up putting this thing into storage if i can ever find a place that i can store this stuff like seriously rain rain go away like seriously oh this guy's almost tamed he's still gonna take a while though you stupid trike get out of my face level 50 raptor here we go so he's probably going to end up taking us oh boy oh boy he was really powerful he took us to half health there Ooh, is that gonna be a raptor claw <gasps> are we gonna be able to make that weird weapon that's probably completely useless because nope because our character is completely useless 
Like seriously, why would you ever want any melee weapons on a character when it's all about the dinosaur? Like just having this raptor have a saddle single-handedly threw us over the top as far as like our power is concerned because otherwise everything was destroying my face. That was really, really bad luck. I don't know if that thing crit us or something, but it almost like killed me. That, I really gotta stop being so overzealous. I'm really hoping that that Sarko can end up helping us out. And then otherwise I should go through the map Digging up all the ore, trying to get myself some levels here, because, uh, we gotta get to that Sarko saddle, like, as soon as possible. I mean, we are leveling quite fast, just based on our raptor killing stuff, but I think we actually level up a lot faster when we're gathering all of this ore, and I can't wait till we can move up to some iron tools. Yes, we could end up using the drill, but honestly speaking, it doesn't really work very well for ore, near as I can tell anyways. Maybe it's secretly good, but honestly, I don't want to use all of our coal because we're gonna need that in order to make steel later on. Oh, also, if you press H, you guys are probably not going to be able to see it in the video, but in the bottom right, uh, it's already hard enough for me to see. You can actually see the stat values of all of your stats. So it's like we have uh, 3209 XP out of 3213. We're actually about to passively level while this creature is taming. So I wanted to see how much do we end up actually getting from killing creatures um, because the monster uh, mining the ore gave us like 1.5 or something like that. And then, yeah, killing things on our dinosaur seems to give us less than a full 1% or at least for these weaker creatures. And then all the other things uh, seem to give it to us a little bit more. But that said, it is a lot better for us to kill everything than it is to mine ore, as I thought because we get to do it a whole lot faster and when we end up killing these random things we are getting a lot more xp so that's good to know oh our sarko ended up taming beautiful how am i going to get him out of there with this stupid trike messing things up oh seriously you jerk face okay i really hope that i don't accidentally end up killing it come on sarko you gotta get out of there so i can rename you and get a good look at you buddy Yes! Look at him! Isn't he majestic? I can't wait till we can end up getting a saddle for him because as of right now, he's kinda, he's kinda useless for us. Maybe he could end up killing a trike. I don't know, but I wanna get a screeny weenie with him because look at him! Isn't he beautiful? Yeah! I like him. I like him a lot. Ah, 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 ah. Get on the raptor, you stupid game! Jeez Louise! Kill it, Sarko! Oh my gosh! Stupid game! I was just trying to get a screenshot, and suddenly that dumb raptor just jumps out of nowhere. No reason whatsoever. Like, man, this game is brutal. Even when we have everything all set up. He almost killed Yoshi, too. Yikes! Almost killed me while he was at it. It's a good thing that our Sarko was still set to aggressive, because otherwise that would have just... That would have sucked. We would have lost everything. Everything that we worked for. And this guy was not an easy tame. Let me get a nice screeny weenie of that. Very beautiful. Now we actually have Bowser. I spelt it this way on purpose. <laughs> uh, but anyways, folks, I've been recording for like 40 minutes, so we'll see what I can end up cutting this episode's length down to for your enjoyment. Thanks for watching. Very much appreciate it. Hope that you ended up enjoying today's episode. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. And if you want to support me, oh, he's beautiful. You can always sponsor my YouTube channel or check links in the description for my merch store where you can buy this shirt and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, otherwise, there is also Gawk Box, which is a way you can donate to me for free. Sign on. Stay epic, everybody.